Today I want to talk about best books for beginner backpackers. We've talked about gear. Hopefully you're going out and getting what you need if you haven't already. Um, and in the future we're going to talk about different skills, knowledge that you're going to need. But um, to get a good foundation for that, um, there's a lot of literature out there. And if you're a reader, um, like myself, uh, you're going to find a lot of knowledge, a lot of skills, a lot of tips and tricks in that literature. Now there's a lot of stuff on the internet, but wading through that, finding what's relevant to you, that's can be a challenge. So I have some fundamental books that I think are great for beginner backpackers. Uh, I've learned a lot from these and, um, I want to share them with you while you're looking to plan a trip in your spare time. You can learn more without waiting for the next video on YouTube. Right? So, uh, let's get into some of these books. Um, I'm going to post links to the books we talk about. If you want to get those through Amazon, uh, I suggest a lot of these you could get on eBay or check them out at a library. Um, if you don't know what a library is, ask your parents. Okay. So let's get into it. So there's all kinds of places you could start. Uh, and my suggestion would be the complete Walker, um, by Colin Fletcher. This is, Full of fundamentals. It's a huge book. Um, and it's all about everything you're going to need to know out there. The fourth edition, which I believe is the latest was published in 2002. So a, a lot of the stuff on gear here is going to be outdated. Um, and really anything that's published anywhere becomes outdated as far as gear goes within a year or two, but the fundamentals are here. Reading this book is as if you had a grandfather who went backpacking and walking and hiking his whole life and in his golden years decided to share his wisdom with you. And that's how this reads. Um, it's a great book and you're going to learn a lot in here, especially in the beginning of this book. It is definitely full of wisdom, very comprehensive, and um, it's a good read. My next suggestion is called The Backpacker's Handbook. Uh, pretty basic title, but this is by Chris Townsend, and I believe it's in its fourth printing, uh, and it's pretty comprehensive. It really breaks it down from preparing all the way through to actually being out there, talks about gear, talks about skills. It's a really good overview. Uh, of backpacking and it doesn't really assume that you know anything already. So it's, it's a good read. Um, again, it's going to be a bit outdated, um, but there's great lists in this, um, and skills. And so, uh, I have the second and third editions. Um, and again, I think I picked these up like on a Libri. Now, if you would like something a little more up to date, which I imagine you would, um, the complete guide to backpacking from backpacker magazine um which is only online now because like books uh, magazines are kind of going away but this is great it's comprehensive it covers all kinds of stuff trip planning uh etiquette out there and we'll talk about a lot of these things but you know you can only make videos so quickly and there's a lot of knowledge out there in these books so i have this as well it's newer. It covers a lot of the stuff that you're going to have questions about that I haven't answered or might not even get around to answering. Um, it's a good read. You're going to, I think you're going to get a lot out of this if you purchase it um, or find it at your library and check it out. Um, so really good fundamentals. It's clean, pretty well organized. So I think you're going to like this one. Um, moving on. Uh, this book is called Everyday Wisdom from Backpacker Magazine. A thousand and one expert tips for hikers. This isn't going to give you fundamentals. This isn't going to teach you all the basic stuff you need to know, but it is filled, filled with all kinds of little 
tips and tricks. A lot of these things that I learned through trial and error experience, a lot of these things I didn't even think about in until I picked this book up. And this will give you just little things you might not think about um, when it comes to choosing a campsite, how to hang your food, um, because that's important. Um, you're gonna find all kinds of stuff in this. You can find it on eBay for next to nothing, I'm sure. But it's worth picking up just to get some little tips, tricks, secrets. So, worth a try. Uh, the next book is a fantastic book. I suggest you run out and get it now by Diana Helmuth. It is called How to Suffer Outside. This book was recently published. Uh, I picked it up on Kindle, so I don't have a copy in front of me. Um, and it is written for the novice backpacker. If you have never been out there before, this is for you. And it is fantastic. It is funny. It is interesting at points. It's emotional. Um, and it's written for you if you're watching this because you haven't been out there yet and you want to go out there. Um, you, you should really read this book. Um, and I'm, you know, not friends with her, never met her not sponsored by her. Um, in this book, it just, it's fantastic. It's going to make you excited to be out there. It's going to make you want to love backpacking and it's going to be honest with you. And you're going to learn that it's not all butterflies and bunny rabbits. Um, so, uh, I highly recommend that book. If you've never been backpacking before and you've watched my videos and you've bought stuff and you are committed to getting out there that this book's going to do you great. Another really fun, interesting book that is loaded with information will make you laugh has fantastic illustrations. My Mike Cleland is Alan and Mike's really cool backpacking book. It's going to give you a all the fundamentals. It's going to give you all the skills. It is going to teach you things about site selection for where to camp and how to set up your camp. It's going to teach you how to poop in the woods. If my video was not helpful to you, which I can't imagine it was, it's great for trip planning. Um, I found this book by accident and I absolutely loved it. It is so much fun with fantastic little illustrations and it's loaded with information. And even though it'll make you laugh, you're going to learn a lot from this. So I really recommend this one as well. So how to suffer outside and Alan and Mike's really cool pack and, pack and book. Uh, these are great. Look at your library, look on eBay, um, or you can go through the link on down below and you're going to find this. I, I really suggest it. It's, it's fun. It's full of information. It's going to make you excited to get out there. So those are good fundamental books. Um, and some better than others. Again, the C complete Walker, it's like learning about backpacking from your grandfather and basically learning about the gear your grandfather used. So the last couple of books, those are going to be a lot more up to date, a lot more relevant to what we do now. Um, but again, all of these books are super helpful in learning. I think you can never learn enough. I have tons of books. I have probably a hundred books related to backpacking, hiking and trails. Um, and yeah, I'm old and I like books and maybe you're just an internet person or you want to learn everything on your phone and that's fine. Then this video is really not for you, but maybe for your dad. The next couple of books are kind of related to how to go a little lighter out there. Um, because we definitely want to not have too much weight on our backs because that's uncomfortable and we don't want you to hate backpacking. So there are tips and tricks to going a little lighter and some, you know, fundamentals and there's 
some really radical stuff. Um, the next book I have is also illustrated by Mike Cleland, and it is called Lighten Up, and um, it's a handbook for light and ultralight backpacking. And um, again, illustrated by the same person, um, written by another person. And this is going to give you all kinds of tips um, in all kinds of areas where you can go a little lighter. Um, so it's not a fundamental book about backpacking, but, you know, if you start reading and you want to read more, uh, this is going to be a good one. And that's followed up by Ultralight Backpacking Tips. Also illustrated by Mike Cleland, in this case, also written by him. Um, and this one I found a lot more useful than the last one. Uh, this is actually has 153 tips on going lighter out there. Um, and it covers all kinds of stuff. It's loaded with skills, tips, tricks, things you might never have thought about, things that I had never thought about. Um, so thrilled after over 20 years to learn something new. So even though there's 153 tips in here, it's broken down by categories, foundations, mindset, travel techniques, sleeping and stoves and all kinds of stuff, even waterproofing. So out of the last two books, I, I would recommend this one over the other, but both are really great. Um, so if you're looking for ways to go lighter after you've read some of those other books, um, really suggest this one. And again, there's going to be links or you can find this online in various places um, and at your library. So the last book in the category of going light, um, I don't know if I really recommend this for new backpackers, but it's an interesting read and you might find some takeaways, at least in the, in the fundamental philosophies of this book. It's written by Ray Jardine and it's called Trail Life. Um, Ray Jardine was a Pacific Crest Trail hiker back in the day. Um, and he really pretty much coined the phrase and started the movement of ultra light backpacking. Now, he's a legend. Um, he's also pretty radical. Um, but he's got some really great stuff in this book uh, and some stuff that might make you scratch your head. Um, this is a guy who sews his own backpacks. He has cut the tags off of clothing and uh, just to shave tiny, tiny bits of weight along the way. I don't recommend that. Um, this is not the first book I would recommend, but it's a very interesting read. Um, and you can learn some things about that and definitely the philosophy of why it can be better to go lighter. Um, and so it's worth a look. It's kind of expensive. Um, and it's, it's not at the top of my list for you. Um, but since we were talking about lightening up a little bit, that definitely is a classic book for that. Um, so those are some books to get you started. Now, um, there's another book really mostly is going to be focused on going beyond backpacking. Um, but it's really comprehensive and it, it does talk a lot about in the first part of this book about getting out there, um, setting up a camp and, um, you know, how to pack and all of that. Um, and that is from Mountaineers books, Freedom of the Hills, uh, Mountaineering Freedom of the Hills. It's a great book. And I mean, if you're going to be interested in climbing mountains at some point, um, that's something you're doing beyond backpacking. It's a great book. Uh, definitely not the book you want to get to get started on learning backpacking skills, but there's some good information in there. So I recommend it. Um, I also recommend checking out the publisher, uh, the Mountaineers, um, based in Seattle, Washington, they publish all kinds of outdoor books. And a lot of those are going to be relevant to you. Um, I have, probably 20 books published by them. So another good place to look. Now, are there other books 
Tons, yes. And you can find all kinds of books on the internet and on eBay. A lot of books are going to be outdated based on, you know, gear they're recommending and talking about. But um, you're going to find stuff out there if you want books. But these are some recommendations from me. Um, there's some links down below. And um, I just figured maybe if you're passionate about this idea of getting out there, that you want to learn as much as you can. And you can go all over the internet. And lately I've found all over the internet are a bunch of guys talking about $600 ultralight tents. And it it's overwhelming and it's not relevant to what you want to do out there. So these are the kind of books that are going to give you some fundamental skills. And going forward, we'll talk about those. Um, but I want to get you out there. You've got your stuff or you know what you need. And then now you have some reading you can do to learn some more things. And then next we're gonna go over navigation, maps, compass, GPS, uh, how to not get lost or how to get found if you do get lost. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do some trip planning and then you're gonna plan a trip and you're gonna get out there and hopefully you're gonna love backpacking. So appreciate you watching and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks.